this is just the perfect streamer because she is not doing only fans. She is doing lesson plans, David, for the kids. <laughs> this Chinese teacher just made 10 years worth of her salary in a single live stream. Now, what does this have to say about beauty and the future of education? Yeah, we gotta talk about it. This story of Miss Huang is going viral in the Western media right now, especially in Asian circles. I believe it's been going viral in China for the past month or so. Long story short, Andrew, Miss Huang was posting her lessons and the songs that she she was singing with her kindergarten students on Douyin. She built up a platform and a following. They asked her to live stream. She opened up her live stream and they gave her 10 years worth of salary in one live stream session. Woo! Now, I would say a lot of people are happy to see a teacher and educator get paid this much money and finally get rewarded. However, a lot of people are also like, oh, it is only because she is very beautiful. If she did not look like this, how could she get this much money? Now, Guys, we're gonna go through the comments section. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys as we delve into this conversation that people are having. From silly to serious, guys, I'm telling you, it's like a, a silly thing, but I guess there is some serious implications for the future of work or particularly, I guess, beautiful people or beautiful women, what type of jobs they enter or what are their best opportunities yeah. in life. David, I would say just initially, I could only think of dad's reaction if we showed him this story. He'd be like, see, David, this is just the perfect streamer because she is not doing only fans. She is doing lesson plans, David, for the kids. <laughs> Please, David, why, you should find a Miss Huang, okay? She's an educator. This is the streamer we should all aspire to be. Yeah, I think a lot of wholesome Chinese guys, they're looking for their Miss Huang <laughs> in life right now. Obviously, might be pretty difficult to secure, to be honest. Uh, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, good for her, man. Finally, something good coming out of Wuhan. Woo! A pretty Asian female teacher making money the wholesome way. I could get behind this more than I can the other stuff coming out of Wuhan. Yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next comment? Somebody said, let's be honest, it was her looks, guys. It was her looks. Everybody knows the number one rule in streaming is to be beautiful, and the number two rule in streaming is to not be not beautiful. <laughs> I mean, no, let's be honest, dude. Definitely her looks help. She is she is very pretty, like naturally. And I do think the school that she was teaching at, from the background, from what I can see, it's not like it's not like a super poor school. It looked you know? like a high-end school. Yeah, it looked Wuhan. like a they good school. They got the touchscreen LCD behind the back. But shout out to her like because she was already posting her lessons online and already garnering a following. But who's the following? Like, adult men? Yeah, are I mean, I do think there was a lot of uh, particularly single men on desktop computers because there was a lot of comments like, oh, yeah, I wish I could go back to kindergarten. <laughs> Um, Andrew, do you think that she looked like sort of like how you would imagine uh, Asian flight attendants to look? Yeah. Like the oh. really, you know, the ones on the brochure. Nah, definitely. I mean, she's she's got the whole package. Listen, she seems like a good teacher and she's also good looking. But yeah, let's be honest, Andrew. Online entertainment, just like in mainstream media, entertainment looks they matter a lot. Listen, when you're trying to garner an audience on the internet, how you look, unfortunately, does matter a lot. It doesn't mean you can't get views if you're not very good looking, but it just means that your audience is going to be looking to you for, for different things. Maybe. Somebody said, finally, a teacher actually educating youth getting rich off social media and not all these ratchet people and OnlyFans showing God knows what. I don't even know if that'd be possible here for such a wholesome figure to get popular and then get money off that following. It's only because in China, and somebody said, yeah, that's because China loves STEM. And not only do they love STEM culturally, but it's because it's governmental control. There's good and bad things about having such a heavy-handed government because they will prevent the populace from being so ratchet. Yeah, I mean, I think there have been cases in America of school teachers who found OnlyFans during the pandemic and they kind of got sexy on OnlyFans, got a lot of money, and then they quit teaching versus this girl who's doing it wholesomely. Now, I do think, obviously, a lot of our audience still watches because she's good-looking, because they're not kindergartners giving her this much money, right? It's adult guys who are still like kind of fantasizing about her, but not in that X-rated way, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I think China's a very different society. Obviously, they have different legal regulations about censorship that are big too. But I think a lot of people, because China's such an academic society, I could see way more teacher-centric thinking yeah, just in no, general for I, everything. For no, but I, I do think that it's a breath of fresh air to see an educator, albeit that she's very beautiful, but like just an educator kind of get 
uh, put on this pedestal or at least get this famous. Somebody right? said, man, I wish you would have stayed a teacher. It's a noble profession. It's educating the youth for society and the youth are the future. And of course, a lot of people said, yeah, but teachers everywhere, whether it's the US, China, underpaid, overworked, underappreciated, noble jobs are not in vogue anymore in 2023. And somebody else said, well, come on, let's be honest. Most U.S. teachers are entitled teaching the kids stupid things, and they're whack, and they're lazy. They're probably the teachers who couldn't even enter industry. That's the only reason why they're teaching, because they can't do. So interestingly enough, Andrew, uh, you have pro-teacher comments and anti-teacher comments. Of course, it's a political thing. Yeah, and I think it's an interesting discussion to have as technology moves forward, and it allows people to have all these different options. Think about it. If you are a very beautiful, charismatic teacher or police officer even, or- You're talking about civil service. Civil service, fire, whatever. You're a firefighter, a man, woman, whatever it is. Let's just say you know you can garner an audience on the internet. Does that mean you go and do it? Because it's probably easier than your regular job. Now, I know, David, we know Dr. Mike- who is actually a famous doctor on YouTube, he's still a doctor while running his YouTube channel, although he is considered the sexiest doctor in America. Yeah, and I actually think that this Next Shark article reported that Miss Wong quit her job just to do live streaming full-time, but I, leave, I believe she's doing both. And I don't know if she's doing both because she loves the kids so much, or realistically, if you get known for showing your lessons, plans, and songs, you should, as an influencer, continue doing the thing that got you big in the first place. Yeah, and I'll, I mean, there, there could be multiple reasons. Yeah, but it is true that they are not paid that much, and it's true that teachers are underpaid for the job that they do. Now, how can the world incentivize teachers good teachers to stay at their job. Yeah. You don't need hot teachers. You don't need hot teachers. You just need good teachers. Somebody said, yeah, and she didn't even have to take her clothes off, unlike all these young women in America starring OnlyFans. Classic comment. <laughs> Somebody said, she only was making $6,000 a year as a kindergarten teacher. What? Why is everybody bragging that China's so rich? $6,000 ain't nothing. And then somebody else said, actually, if you know the story of Miss Wong, and this is a Chinese commenter, she was not a full-time teacher. She was a special programs, like almost like a song teacher or like a special programs teacher. But a average teacher in um, China, I guess, makes anywhere from ten dollars to $15,000 per year, still much less than an American teacher. What is that, like a third or a fourth? Mm -hmm. However, it is true that like the cost of eating out in China or at the cafeteria is much lower too, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, the cost of living in most Chinese cities is a lot lower. Somebody said, man, life sure is easy for beautiful women. And of course, Andrew, this whole thread descended into lookism, talking about in 2023, is every woman who's like above a 7 to 7.5 out of 10 just gonna use her looks online, whether yeah. it's in a wholesome I, way or a more extreme way? I guess in the comments down below, anybody watching, I'd like you to leave a comment to let me know, like, if you have the looks or the appeal and you can use it to your advantage, do you? And I think most people are gonna say, hey, if those are tools that you're born with, so be it. You should use it for your advantage and use it for good, right? right. And at least Miss Wong is using it for good. Yeah, maybe she's not a regular school teacher. She's doing some special programming or, or after school. I don't know what it is if she's actually even full time. But regardless, you know, I guess it's good that at least hot educators are making money. Somebody said, yeah, man, the internet is inundated with pretty women who make a living from hopeless simps on their computers at home. I mean, I guess, is that the future, though? I mean, there's a lot of people, and the world is more digital. I guess there's more lonely people. I guess, particularly, let's be honest, more lonely men than there probably are lonely women. Right, right, right. And the digital currency allows you to, to, to just donate yeah, quickly, I, right? I think through this apps. Is, I think this is a function of the current situation and even the situation that's happening in the West about uh, the dating pool and everything. That's actually happening globally, too. And especially in China, they actually do have like their own gender problems. Gender imbalance, right? Like gender that, imbalance. Somebody said, uh, man, why are entertainers so much more valued than educators? It seems like it's not just an American thing. It's everywhere in the world right now. Where is the world headed? Uh, but I mean, celebrities have always been valued more than teachers because it's more rare and it's more captivating. But I do think that somehow in the culture and maybe in the next 10 years, we need to give educators or at least maybe not, I mean, if not teachers, at least like people on the internet who are posting educational material, we need to like reward them and incentivize them. Somebody said, uh, how come the Asian American actresses look worse than just a teacher influencer in China? I always wondered that. This is a common comment you hear from more uh, like, you know, 
people who are kind of between worlds, right? Yeah, people from China, they know that the looks requirement to be an actress in China is a lot higher than even in Hollywood because Hollywood has a lot of different characters. They take on a lot of comedians, a lot of different looks. They like that. However, in Asia, it's very like you have to look like Miss Huang or better to even be an actress. Yeah, it is true that I would be interested to see an Asian American actress that looks more like Miss Huang, though. Because oh. there hasn't been one yet. But you could also argue, Andrew, that if you're born looking like Miss Wong, you may never develop the chops or sort of this Americana persona you need to also enter mainstream entertainment well, in America. She, it's least. not like she tried to be an actress in China either. She became a teacher. Yeah, somebody said, uh, man, why is, what's the appeal of Miss Wong, man? She's super tone deaf when she's singing. I'm listening to the songs. Uh, Andrew, we watched some of her songs. Not the best singer, but it is, it's captivating. Good material, man. Somebody said, uh, yeah, well, you know, at least they got wholesome, wholesomeness over there. She's not the best singer, but they got zero fear of a mass shooter. People actually respect the teacher. They're not throwing spitballs at her. The West is in decline. Yeah, I mean, I think it's so funny because people are going to look at things from China and either use that as a case against America. Like, oh, look at what China's doing. China's doing things better than us. And then there's a whole bunch of things that people are going to look at China and be like, see, China sucks. China sucks. Right. Is it Miss Huang being wholesome and all the students having respect for her, Or is it her making $600 a month and the economic boom being way right. overrated. It depends on your perspective. All right, you guys, let's get into our takeaways. Like I said, um, Andrew, what do you think about entertainers getting valued way more than educators? Is this trend just going to extrapolate, which theoretically will provide the opportunity cost for a beautiful educators, particularly a female, to hop into other professions? Yeah. Whether that is obviously using your looks for a job or just a more lucrative career. Well, I, I don't think you want to look at just entertainers versus educators as people. I think you have to look at the industry and how education is not as valued as much as entertainment or making money because basically the whole culture is based around if you can make money doing something entertaining and just making people laugh or being appealing. You're talking about the hardcore ROI projections. Yeah, then just do it, right? That's the American culture is to say, it, I'm, if do pranks, look good, go show sexy photos, just dance in front of the camera. Only toes. Whatever it is, you should do it to make money because making money is the number one thing. Don't be educated. That's the culture right now. So, so does this show that America and China are similar or dissimilar? Like we were just saying before, you saw comments on both sides. Like I, some people saying, yeah, it's the hyper capitalism in the looks industry. And other people are like, well, nah, it's so different. I mean, it's funny because I would say, and I always said this, that there are surprisingly a lot more similarities between China and America than people think. I, although yeah, in ways that people wouldn't yeah, think of. Yeah, I'm not saying that they are more similar than different. I'm just saying it's more similar than people usually think. But I would say, yeah, this culture, dude, when you have a streaming service where people can pay money, human nature is going to be the same. Yeah. And male nature is going to be the same where we're like, we want to see a pretty girl do something. No, you know, America, maybe the girls are, you know, taking off their clothes. But, you know, in China, they're just singing songs to the it, kids. It's still a guy on on a computer getting stimulated. It's somehow. still a lonely guy giving money to a pretty girl, period. That's the dynamic. Um, yeah, so long story short, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. I think that the Chinese internet has way more details. I heard that she didn't have her ECE or something like that, which is early educa uh, child education license or something like that. But, you know, these details are not fully yeah. relevant for the Western version. Well, of you know how, like, professionals, like, I have professional friends that are always looking down on the influencer friends. Me, oh, man, you know, they're not real professionals in this anyways. Uh, but one thing I would ask everybody, leave a comment down below if you think that this is going to promote more people in China to become teachers or promote more people in China to become streamers because obviously if you can if you know top level streamers gonna make, make way more money listen so. guys 10 years of pay within like three hours it's hard to is beat. crazy it's hard to beat it's hard to beat anyways guys, you gotta support real small businesses businesses of all sizes I, I might need some boba after this